So primal blueprint law number seven is play. Um, sounds frivolous, but it's actually a fairly important part of the human experience. Uh, our brains require play as part of uh, the learning process, and not just while we're children or adolescents, but all throughout our adult life. Um, play in the um, historical sense of the human experience uh, was uh, a distressor, it was an opportunity to explore uh, relationships with other people, uh, it was an opportunity to um, be creative, uh, which sort of prompted this whole movement toward art. Uh, play takes many forms. It could be a game, it could be a dance, it could be um, when I play Ultimate Frisbee, it could be you know a competitive game, uh, it could be a workout where you're just um, competing against yourself from uh, you know on Strava or, or a, on a screen against a workout that you did that you ghosted yourself two weeks ago. There are all sorts of ways in which play uh, takes shape. Uh, when we look at um, certain animals and how they engage in play, we see how the brain gets rewired. It becomes, uh, in some animals, it's an opportunity to rehearse what happens when you have to escape from a predator. Uh, there are lots of ways in which we can use play to um, to enhance our brain power, to enhance our creativity, to enhance our productivity, uh, and it becomes uh, so it becomes useful in that regard. It also becomes a very uh, useful way to de-stress from from a hard situation, from trauma, from from a hard day's work. Uh, so finding ways in which we can play and be playful. Uh, is and it's and it's probably the biggest challenge that people have in the primal blueprint. Like they don't, you know, they again they might get their diet dialed in. They might have a great exercise program. They might even get their sleep handled. But play is like no, I can't, I can't bring myself to, to find ways in which to play. And I would suggest that uh, the more opportunity you have for play in your life, the more enjoyable your life will become. It's probably when we talk about the primal blueprint and the, and the intent to live awesome as a result of engaging in this template, this primal blueprint. Uh, the ability to, to enjoy life, to feel fulfilled and content, uh, and to get pleasure out of every experience is certainly enhanced by incorporating play into as many areas of your life as you can. It's sad, actually, that uh, part of being adult today is sort of perceived as, well, it's no longer time to be playful, it's time to be serious. Like, now I'm an adult, I have to be serious for the rest of my life, and play is considered frivolous and wasteful, uh, and actually nothing could be further from the truth. Play is, an, again, an, an integral part of the life experience, uh, and it's tremendous opportunity for growth. A lot of what we talk about in the Primal Blueprint are things that defy conventional wisdom, that defy societal norms, uh, that are outside the box. But that's one of the reasons that we failed as humans in terms of experiencing life the way we should, experiencing life the way our genes expect us to. We have, we've so confined ourselves with our experience, with what we eat, with, with how we move. We've become so confined uh, that we've narrowed the experience down to one of uh, you know, that, that does not foster the sort of enjoyment and fulfillment and contentment that we're all seeking. Play is this great opportunity for growth in that area. Play opens the door up for so many other experiences of life that would otherwise not be available. So the, the idea that play is part of the primal blueprint laws is my giving you permission to go out and have fun, be frivolous and play.